Okay, Lightroom 7 or Lightroom Classic. Uh, the main new feature, uh, besides all the performance changes, is Range Mask. So let's say I have this panorama of the Scanny Atlas Pier, well, from the pier, and I want to adjust my sky, bring up the saturation. I don't want to just bring up the blues because that'll get the water. Grab my grad filter, go a little crazy so we can see what I'm doing. And here is probably good. Yeah. Whoa, Brian. Whoa. There we go. Okay. So I'm affecting just the top half of the image, and I can, you know, play with that a little bit. It might not even be too noticeable on the houses, right? But we don't need to muck around with that anymore. No auto mask. All I'm going to do range mask, color. Pick up my eyedropper, and instead of just clicking, I'm going to grab a section of sky. It should cover most of it. There we go. And now when I reset this, oops. Now when I reset this, I can go, actually I can cheat because I'm not doing the whole image and I'm not doing the buildings. I can actually use uh, white balance rather than saturation. Interesting. Uh, it also works for the radio filter. Let's go crazy on these trees. There we go. That's obviously beautiful, but not 100% what I'm looking for. And again, I've got a decent selection here. Now that might that might include some of uh, these colors, but because the filter's only here, I don't care. And I can also, of course, tighten it up as much as I want. And instead of a ridiculous exposure adjustment, once again, I can cheat with white balance if I want. Go crazy on the clarity. Before, after. I'm getting a little bit of leak here. And you're actually seeing some of it in the, the windows. The windows reflect. Adjust it a bit. There we go. Oops, too much. Okay. And let's get some detail on this guy. Uh, quick, easy, simple. Okay, so I want to darken down my sky. Or, well, we'll see what I want to do. But let's come in and I'll say I was being cautious about it. There we go. You can still see where I'm I'm hitting this tree. It's not necessarily a big deal, but if I had a bit more uh, shadow detail, luminance. Uh, and this will be my dark side of things. I don't want to block that off. If I hold Alt, you'll see it as a black and white. And smoothness is kind of our, our feathering. Do our best. And now when I adjust this, it'll have less of an impact on my tree. And actually maybe I'll even add a bit of color, right? Sunset hadn't quite happened yet. There you go. Didn't turn my tree orange. And not that it'll look good, but if I pull my shadows up, you can see my tree is not being affected by those changes. Uh, as far as performance goes, 
Let's go to my preferences. Performance. The default uh, camera raw cache will be 5 gigs now. Uh, if yours is already bigger than that, it'll have no effect. If it was the old 3, it's been bumped to 2. You now need 1 gig of uh, video RAM available to use their GPU version 2 uh, library. And on Windows, they're using an entirely new rendering library. Which I believe also requires Windows 10. Yikes. Windows 10.0.14393 and Mac OS 10.11. Uh, down here, generate previews in parallel. Greatly speeds up your preview uh, generation. They cache your histogram when you're walking through photos in the develop window. Uh, going from library to develop is faster. Loading your catalog is faster. Uh, they're compressing develop history and metadata now. Uh, when you import photos, uh, sync to the Lightroom CC ecosystem is paused. Uh, apparently, there's quite a significant speed increase on import doing that. You can also import uh, embedded in sidecar and pretty good calling workflow. I don't personally use that, but if your camera generates a large enough JPEG, you can do that. And if not, you can shoot JPEG plus RAW, and it'll use the JPEGs as your as your preview. I don't know if anybody's used the brushes uh, lately. I tend to shy away because performance was less than less than ideal but brush performance is much improved even spot removal used to be a for me a significant lag there's a lag obviously on the processing, but the actual brushing quite effortless. Those are before and after. Wonderful. Don't know if we'll be able to demonstrate it, but clicking here. The speed at which you're ready to use the controls is much faster. And so are the actual adjustments. I understand some people didn't have speed issues, but a lot of people did. Preview generation is faster in general, both standard, one-to-one, -one, and smart previews. And if you do use that embedded uh, workflow, replace embedded previews with standard previews during idle time. So it'll pull in your embedded previews but when it detects you're not busy, it'll start to replace them with quote unquote real previews. Let's add both. So for title, we now have is empty and isn't empty. And under develop, we have lens profile corrections is true or is false. Uh, people seem pretty excited about title. And I guess if you want to see if you have profile corrections, now it's easy. Nothing too too crazy with that. And even scrolling through your folders is much better. Uh, and it does have a new sync library, but as you may have heard with Nimbus, uh, so keywords don't sync to the cloud, color labels don't sync to the cloud, and your collection sets don't sync to the cloud you have to do basically a duplicate of it or organize it differently if you want you can have it whichever way makes you happy okay for now that's it but once you're part of the subscription train hopefully we get you know cute little things every couple months all right thanks for watching bye